It is with this vax box that we've been using to transport vaccines from one facility to another. Like when we go to collect them from the main center collection center and bring them to the health center, we use it to store them. The vaccines that are stored there are the vaccines that we use for antivirus, the polio vaccine, the pneumonia vaccine, the measles vaccine, the BCG, the DPT and many others, even the tetanus toxoid vaccine. It is in the same vax box where we store the COVID-19 vaccine, which we use to vaccinate people who come to the facility. And we at dire times, there are times that maybe we are needed to go into the village, that there's somebody who couldn't come to the facility. We use the vax box and a motorbike and transfer our ways to the, the village and vaccinate that person. Second. Vaxibox is a portable fridge. It's 20 kgs in weight and 40 liters in capacity. And it's so portable that you can mount it on a motorbike, a bicycle, or even a boat, or even carry it. And uh, beyond portability, it's solar powered and in it's integrated with a battery backup just to ensure that even during the night and times of very little sun, the fridge is still be able to continue operating to keep vaccines cold. And it comes as a whole package solution because it's integrated with the an online monitoring capability where we are able to know at any one point where the location of the fridge, the location of the vaccines, and also what temperature the vaccines are being stored for, just to ensure traceability of these vaccines. And uh, for the farmers who can integrate these solutions at home, this fridge has a USB uh, charging capability. And this is important because the communities that embrace this kind of technology equally still don't have electricity. So they can even charge their phones through the USB as a business model or even just to ensure that they are they're digitally available. very important to monitor the temperature at which vaccines are stored at any one point without missing an opportunity. Because if it's not monitored, it means the, the temperature could spike, rendering the vaccines non-viable. And when it's not noticed, there's a possibility that a child can get that vaccine that has no potency or very little e efficacy. They get a placebo, and that's a missed opportunity for quality healthcare and complete vaccination for a child. The, the vaccine box, um, solar powered uh, vaccine container, um, the fact that it maintains the temperatures between 2 to 10 
uh, means that it, it actually maintains uh, the temperature required to transport vaccines such as AstraZeneca um, for the required you know period understand it can maintain the temperature for up to nine hours and that's long enough to transport vaccine from one region to another especially in remote in remote regions of this country.